So this is a demonstration of my new scheme for the HHSI Student Trinity Harp. This is basically a copy of the famous medieval Trinity College of Ryan Drew Harp with a massively simplified construction but presenting David Courtier's measurements of the string angles and spacing and lengths. And so my new scheme is an attempt to make a plausible and workable medieval disposition for the harp, rather than trying just to copy what we can of the 18th century setup. So instead of having Nicoli, the sister strings, at G below middle C, which is normal for the 18th century Irish harps, I've tried putting them at middle C. This is a thing that Alastair Cadona first mentioned to me. And so the middle C divides the bass from the treble of the harp. Macaulay, Macaulay at middle C. An octave below middle C, you have Cronan C, the drone bass. seventh of the scale on the 18th century Irish harps this would of course be F which can be turned up to F sharp to give you a sharp seventh or F natural to give you a flat seventh below G which is the G it would be Nicoli and G would be the home note of the harp well on this harp we now have C as the as Nicoli and C as the home note of the harp and so that flat seventh becomes B flat and you could raise that to B natural to give you the sharp seventh Now we have two strings below Cronan C. And the idea, one of the ideas of this setup and disposition is that we're working at A440, so there's no problem fitting in with other instruments. We have two strings below Cronan, to, which are very useful for playing a lot of repertory. And it also fits into the medieval gamut, which was something that I was never happy about for the 18th century setup. There's obviously a parallel between the medieval gamut, running from, from gamma at the bottom, and with, the, with B flat and B natural. And to me there was a connection here with the lowest, with Cronan G on the harp and with the shifting F sharp, F natural, but it doesn't quite fit, whereas here it's very straightforward. The bottom string is gamma, ut. We skip the lowest B. And this string can be raised to give you B natural. B natural. There's Cronan. And this string can be shifted up. And this is the highest note of the medieval gamut, and we have a whole octave or more on the top of that. But um, So this is what I'm thinking at the moment, and I've been playing this harp now like this for a day or so, and I'm thinking, yes, it works, it has a good sonority. What do you think? Should I recommend this as the normal tuning, stringing, and disposition for a replica of the Trinity College of Ryan Baru Harp?